Hello everyone, this is Lucas and today I'm going to be playing West of Loathing. I've seen this game before like around, um, I haven't really watched that much gameplay though because I didn't really want to spoil it, but the one thing that I know is that this game is really funny. I don't laugh easily. Man, we failed on the, failed on the third clip. Um, okay, maybe that's a lie. Um, this is just stickman graphics and stuff. Well, We'll see if it makes me laugh now. Ooh, are there bottles here? Ooh, you can shoot them. Ooh. Five hours later. Okay, maybe we should actually get to the game. <laughs> New game. Wanted for protagonizing. Adam Hatfield. Um... Enter first name. We'll put in LC. Okay. Get us. All right. Uh, play. Yeah. I had the strangest dream. I was choosing a character class: cow puncher, bean slinger, or snake oiler. Snake Oiler looks kind of cool. Snake Oilers rely on their moxie and shut's paw to tame snakes. Their fearlessness to extract potent oils from those snakes and their cleverness to manufacture and sell potions made from those oils. You've heard Snake Oilers are doing really well out west since the cows came home. Everybody needs potions and hope in these dark days and also out west is where all the best snakes live. Let's look at the others first. Cowpunchers solve their problems with their fists, whether it's shaking them at a disagreeable feller in a disreputable, disreputable saloon, or using them to punch a slightly more disagreeable feller in a slightly less reputable saloon. You've heard that cowpunchers are in demand out west since the cows came home, which stands to reason. The cows ain't, aren't gonna punch themselves after all. Okay. Bean slinger. Magic and cooking are inextricably intertwined and loathing, and the bean slinger is the mystical master of both. You've heard there's a shortage of cooks out west since the cows came home due to most of the cooks having been brutally killed by the cows. Uh, I think we're gonna be a snake oiler, let's do that. Your room. W-A-S-D, yeah. This weird poster appeared here one night. Okay. You read the spine of one of your books, Stella Swift and the Secret of the Spooky Tower. Dad gave me this one when I was a kid. Read another title. The Occurrence at the Black Church. I remember that one. Test Danger and the Curse of Grizzly Lighthouse. Rufus liked this one as much as I did. Who's Rufus? Lou Brown and the Curse of Vulture Woods. I read that one ten times. There's so many. Oh, hey, this one might come in handy. You got an item. Walking Stupid. Walking Stupid? What do I do with that? Oh, new item? Walking stupid. This book tells the tale of a renegade sheriff who is really, really bad at walking. <laughs> Unlock stupid walking as an option. All right, read it. You read the book from cover to cover and learn how to walk really stupidly. Stupid walking has been added to your options menu. You got a perk, stupid walking. Nice. You accidentally dropped the book and then ruined it by stepping on it 30 times while trying to pick it up. <laughs> Oops. Okay. Uh. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Wow. Wow. Stupid walking. You can turn it off and on. No, no, we're keeping that on. That's amazing. What do we have over here? Goodbye, phonograph. Turn it off. You pull the needle away from the cylinder and stow the handle away. <laughs> oh, this is going to be great. Hey, Russell, how you doing? Ka. I'm going to miss you, buddy. Leave Russell around. I'm going to miss you, buddy. Let's feed Russell a cricket. Grab a cricket from your cricket bag and feed it to Russell. He coos appreciatively and nuzzles your hand. 
Goodbye, Russell. Be good. Maybe it's time for you to leave, too. Can he come with me? You open your bedroom window, not pictured, and unlatch the door to Russell's cage. He winks at you. Cause one last time, there flies away to the west. Oh, I set him free. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, Ben. Time to head west to chase my real dreams. <laughs> Comb hair. What hair? You gain one experience. Okay. <laughs> oh my goodness. I love this so much. <laughs> Nothing on the hat rack today. What a mess. Stack firewood. Okay. This hearth really puts the hearth and hearth and home. You're gonna miss mom's cooking. You'll miss meals with your family. It's mom's pie safe. It keeps all her pies safe. <laughs> your little brother's room. <laughs> you pick up you pick up one of your brother's you pick up one of your brother's weird books and flip through it. Borlaus Sungen Uber Zalon Theory. None of it makes a lick of sense to me. I think this is about math, maybe? <laughs> no wonder I never know what he's talking about. It's covered with all these weird diagrams and charts. So tidy. Okay, yeah. So, my brother is kind of weird. Your family's farm. Mom smiles warmly as you approach. I'm leaving now, Mom. We're gonna miss you, kiddo. Oh, before you leave, I got you a present. Present? Yep, it's that book you wanted for Crimbo. I know it's early, but... The one about picking locks, oh boy. The one about desert survival, oh boy. The one about bartering, oh boy. Ooh. Alright, so we have... Ooh. Okay, sorry about that. Just hit my mic into my lap. Um. Alright, so... Do we want... Picking locks, desert survival, or bartering. Bartering's never really a problem for me, and surviving, I can, I, I'm pretty good. Uh, but if I have any experience with Fallout, you want to be able to pick locks. So yeah, we're gonna do picking locks. You got an item, locks, and how to pick them. Please be careful out there. Write us a letter when you can. She hugs you. I will, mom. Goodbye. Who's this? Our dad. Your father morsuously jabs at. <laughs> Morrisley jabs at the haystack. That hat doesn't fit you, Dad. Time for me to leave. Yeah, that hat doesn't fit you, Dad. I'll grow into it. It's time for me to leave. His lip quivers a little. Listen, I want you to have this. It's your grandmother's briefcase full of snakes. Thank you. <laughs> Good. Good luck out there. Be sure to say goodbye to your mother. I did. Goodbye, Dad. Hey, bro. <laughs> Your brother, oh, okay, that's who Rufus is. Rufus is our brother. Your brother Rufus is standing here looking nervous. He's pretty good at looking nervous. Say goodbye. Hey, Rufus, time for me to head west. I still don't understand why you're leaving. He's got a point, you know. Why are you going west anyway? To help people to seek my fortune to get off this stupid farm. <laughs> uh, to help people. You've read the papers, Rufus. The people out west are in trouble. They need all the help they can get. But it's so dangerous. 60% of the people who go west get killed within a year. And that statistic is from before the cows came home. What is up with the cows? Are they, like, evil? I'll be okay. I'll be okay. You worry about taking care of mom and dad. I'll worry about me. Okay, if you say so. I still think you'll be dead by Crimbo. I'll miss you, Rufus. Okay. You give him a playful punch on the arm. Alright, leave. So we have a new uh, item in our inventory. Locks and how to pick them. This book is a comprehensive guide to advanced lockpicking techniques. It's got a whole chapter on tumblers. Alright, let's read it. You quickly memorize the entire book. You got a skill, lockpick and expertise. Nice. After you're done reading it, you donate to a you donate it to a local orphanage. Soon those orphans will be able to make their escape. Go orphans, go. <laughs> Briefcase full of snakes. This is the briefcase you keep your favorite snakes in. Venom level 3, medicine level 3. Look inside. There are a lot of snakes in this uh, briefcase. Alright, I don't think we need to do anything with this yet, so we'll just close the briefcase for now. Alright, let's go. Go west, young man. Yes. West of Loathing. Oh my gosh, this game is gonna be great. I can already tell. <sighs> yeah, I'm not gonna skip the credits. The great people who made this game are not gonna be forgotten <laughs> no matter Kevin Simmons 
dialect coach Rip Connor. <laughs> Alright, I think the credits are supposed to be a joke too. Stunt coordinator. <laughs> Key grip, yeah. Boom operator Ryan Ike. 200 miles later. Dirt water, 300 miles. Oh. Oh, goodness. We fell off. Well, the bad news is that you fell off that cart and got knocked out for a couple of hours. And now you've got no ride, no meat, and no prospects. So, I guess, like, meat is, like, the currency around here. The good news is that you're in a town rather than in a gulch somewhere. Not much of a town, though. Get up and dust yourself off. The town of Boring Springs. A turnip. Get turn up. Come on. You got an item, Dusty Turn Up. Burp. Hey sir. Hey, watch it, hey buddy. Hey, sir, do you like do you like how I walk? You're mosey in here. Yuck. Did I just step in poop? I'm stick stepping in poop. Alrighty. Sign on the door reads gone drinking. BS horsery. As you walk into the saloon, the crazy-eyed guy sitting to the left of the door shrieks and waves at you to get your attention. Hey, where's your hat, dag nabbit? Well, I... You can't drink in here without a hat. To ain't proper. He points to the take a hat, leave a hat box next to the door. Check out the box. You look through the hat box and find a battered derby. That looks like something you'd wear. Grab it. You put it on an item. Floppy derby. All right. You grab the hat and put it on. Thanks, sir. Pete. Thanks, Pete. He gives you a friendly, if somewhat twitchy, nod. Say, feller. Yeah? You heading west? If and you want some company, I'd be more than happy to come along. Just let me know. Well, er, no pressure. Alright, I'll keep it in mind. Alright, Pete. What do you say, Pete? Who, me? Well, heck, I say all kinds of things. For instance, for slugginer machines, can't trust them no more. Uh, more in the darn clam claim jumper uh-huh pete takes a swig of his whiskey see you later pete yeah pete's not too what's this it's a spittoon people spit into it you know without even looking at it that is absolutely disgusting look in it yeah it's full of spit regular spit gross tobacco spit chewing gum and it looks like a few teeth as well it's disgusting and the smell even from a distance it smells horrible Look closer. You are now on your hands and knees, peering into a filth encrusted spittoon. I don't, I don't understand what is wrong with you. Wait, is there something shining at the bottom? Get it. You reach your hand toward the spittoon, and even before you touch it, you can feel the grossness in the air, like a greasy fog enveloping the stinking brass horror. It smells like the vomit trough at a mesquite barbecue eating contest. You hesitate. Never surrender. You plunge your hand into the awful soup. It makes a sound like glop. Your skin is burning. Your eyes start to water. <laughs> Search. Your fingers make contact with something. You pull your hand out of the devil's terrain slowly, not daring to risk splashing the contents all over yourself. You appear to have gotten some kind of ring, probably some kind of disease as well. Congratulations? You got an item. Nasty ring. Hooray? What's it do? One muscle, one mysticality, one moxie. Alright. <laughs> that was gross. Zzz. These two are playing poker, or at least trying to. They keep looking back and forth from their hands to the how to play poker card that comes with their deck, biting their lips and concentrating real real hard. Can I play it requires 20 meat. Alright, good luck you two. Howdy, I'm LC. Howdy LC, I'm Horace. Nice to meet you, what do you do? I'm the town hostler. I don't know what that is. I'm the town horse selling guy. Gotcha. How's that working out for you? Oh, those horses are just flying out the door. So business is booming. Nice. No, I mean the horses keep running away. I haven't sold one in ages. Oh. Is that why you're here drinking instead? Oh, uh, yep. And me being in here drinking instead of watching the horses is probably how they keep escaping. It's one of those vicious circle things. <laughs> well, I'm in need of a horse. Do you have any left? 
one kind of a boring one but it's got four legs and a back to sit on come see me at the stable i'll be happy to show it to you okay you walk up to the bar and wait patiently for your bartender to, for the bartender to notice you while you're waiting you see a sign taped to the back wall reading reward for lost mugs 25 meat each keep waiting bartender finally notices you howdy cowboy howdy barkeeper name's lc what brings you to our little backwater ask about work oh the usual i came out west to make my fortune not having much luck so far though any work around these parts? Unfortunately, Boring Springs already has more people in it than jobs. It's more of an errand town, if you catch my meaning. If you're looking for a real job, I'd recommend talking to the railroad people up by Dirtwater. Ask about the railroad, ask about Dirtwater, ask about errands. Uh, ask about the railroad. The railroad? The Manifest Destiny Railroad Company from back uh, east. They're trying to run a line to Frisco and having a heck of a time doing so. And they're hiring? Oh, I reckon they're always hiring for one thing or another. Big company, that. Uh, ask about dirt water. Dirt water? Dirt water is interesting. It's far enough uh, west that it's still more or less exempt from the rule of law, but not so far west that it's been burned to the ground by the, by the darned cows. Lots of opportunity there. She pauses for a few seconds, lost in thought. Yep, if I were a younger woman, I'd probably head that way myself. Ask about errands. You mentioned errands? Yeah, this forsaken burg is always falling apart in one way or another. The hostler's always needing help since he hurt his leg, and that no-account sheriff could certainly stand to have somebody doing his job for him. Anything else? Well, I've got a goblin loose in the basement. Some cow poking from the gulch didn't wipe his boots off and got spores everywhere. I could probably handle a goblin. Much obliged. I'll unlock the basement door for you. Oh, and you'll need this. Got an item. Weak fungicide. <laughs> I'll take care of it. Who's the lady drinking whiskey out of the beer mug? That's Susie. She's a ranger from nearby. A real tough broad. I ain't recommend you pester her. Why's that? Lost her whole family to a cow attack recently. Dang. Got some pent up frustrations about it. Ouch. I can't get over this. Is that him? The, the goblin? Pilot, take one. Okay. <laughs> Sneaky. Alright. Okay. Action pistol attack, you'll deal five damage to this target. What are the other things I can do? Uh, melee attack, three damage. Snake whip, costs one AP, five damage. Pull a snake out of your breach and deploy it on the side of the battlefield. Surrender, giving up is the same as losing. Items, won't end your turn. This will deal 25 damage to the target, assuming the target is a goblin. All right, we'll spray it. Just like that? Holy cow. Having dispatched the goblin, you pat yourself on the back for a job well done. Head back upstairs. Alright, hey, I did it. Took care of that goblin. Thank you kindly, Elsie. I knew you were a stand-up feller the moment you walked in here. She reaches under the bar and grabs a bag of meat. Here you go. It's the least I can do uh, by way of thanks. You gained 200 meat. Tip your hat. Just thought I'd say howdy. Well, the mission accomplished, I reckon. All right, here's the guy. Uh, horses, 1,000 meat. Afternoon, sir, what can I do for you? How's business? Oh, you know, every day I'm hustling. To tell you the truth, though, it's pretty terrible. All my horses keep running away. Well, except for this completely ordinary run. That's rough, maybe I can help. Oh, gosh, yes, thank you. Please, I'd go fetch them myself, except for this injury. I'll give you 300 meat each for finding them. How many are there? Three. Here, let me see your map. They pretty much always run away to the same places. He draws three little pictures on your map. You discovered a new map location. Or whole mine. Discovered in Boring Springs Boneyard and Thousand Snakes Gulch. Why these places? I think they like environments that are thematically appropriate. Here, when you find one, feed it some of these oats. That should send it back here. Bag of homing oats. How does that work? They're special pigeon infused oats. Okay, will do. See you later. This is the most typical horse you've seen. Hey, Sheriff. Howdy, stranger. Welcome to the Boring Springs. I'm the Sheriff in these parts. The what? He sighs. The Sheriff, okay? Blasted sign painters. <laughs> Say, you wouldn't happen to be looking for work, would ya? As a matter of fact, I am. Great, because I happen to have some. There's a gang of hoodlums around here what call themselves the Fricker Gang. Last time I arrested one of them, they busted him out and took my cell door with them. It ain't, uh, well, it, it ain't much good without the door. <laughs> and... And I need somebody tough, smart, and slash, or slick to go fetch your bag for me. Why don't you do it? You're the sheriff, after all. Okay, I'll give it a shot. 
funny you should say that because I'm sending the deputy along with you to keep you out of trouble. He takes his pistol out of his desk and hands it to you. you got an item, deputy pistol. Deputy? You deputy, <laughs> deput deputized a gun? You're new in town. Maybe you ain't noticed, but there ain't much to do here except drink. Here, let me write down where the Fricker Gang's hideout is for you. He makes a little note on your map. You discovered a new map location, the Fricker Gang's hideout. Got it. I'll be back with the door. There's a dirty mug here. Grab it. Alright, so I have new locations on my map now. Thousand Snakes Gulch. Oh, I just traveled there. Oh, so that's how you fast travel. You just tap on it. Here's Ol Orhole Mine. Boring Springs Boneyard. The town of Boring Springs. And the Fricker Gang's hideout. Okay. And I have new items in my inventory. Recovered mug. That's uh, the thing that I have to return to the saloon. Step right up, step right up. Braid's the name and trades the game. You seriously doubt that his name is Braid. <laughs> Closed. Get lost. Oh. <laughs> You approach the weird cactus man hybrid. He smiles at you. Howdy, cactus man. Howdy yourself. And the name's Bill. Cactus Bill. What happened to you, Bill? Well, to be honest, partner, I drank too much cactus beer and it turned me into a cactus. <laughs> Doc Alice warned me this would happen, but I didn't listen. That's why they call you Cactus Bill? No, that's just a coincidence. Oh, does it hurt? Does what hurt? You know, being a cactus. Oh, haha. -ha. No, it's actually kind of nice. The natural fermentation processes inside the cactus part of me keep me pretty drunk most of the time. I guess it is a mite bur- I guess it is a mite boring. Yeah, I bet. Wouldn't be so bad if I had something to read. You don't happen to have a newspaper or anything, do you? Oh yeah, I found a newspaper. You give him the newspaper. You give him the newspaper you found in the basement of the saloon. Much obliged, partner. Now, let me see here. What can I do to return the favor? Oh, I know. My shovel. I left it uh, behind the outhouse at Orhill Mine. It's yours if you go and get it. I'm sure you'll find a use for it. All right. Thank him. Behind the outhouse at Orhill or a whole mine. Got it. Thanks, Bill. Don't mention it. Now, if you could just kind of stick that newspaper to my face before you leave. Stick the newspaper to him. <laughs> Some loose dirt. So I can dig something up with the shovel that I get from Bill's. Okay. Well, guys, that's going to do it for today's episode. I really hope you enjoyed it because I really did. This game is hilarious. I'll definitely be coming back to it. And especially if you guys want to see a part two, then like the video and tell me in the comments if you really want to. Um, I think next episode we'll start doing some, like, you know, missions. Uh, like, we'll go get the horses. We'll go get the Fricker gang. Uh, we'll get this shovel from the Orhole mine and dig up this dirt because I'm sure that's what it's for. Anyways, I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, drop a like on it. And if you're new around here, subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.